Well, the last principle of influence that we're going to talk about this week out of the six is scarcity. Obviously, if you there's a great quote that if you want to love something, realize that you may lose it and it'll be easy to love. And this applies this principle of uh, scarcity. And remember, well, again, like all these principles of influence, they're important things. If there really is only one of those in the world, it does have more value, especially if it's initially valuable to you anyway. But this principle can be used against us. How often have you driven by maybe a mattress store, or certain type of outlet stores where there's always a sale or always like there's only 20 left or five left or whatever, and that continues to go on year after year after year. Obviously, they're attempting to use this principle of scarcity, and obviously, they're having some type of effectiveness with it, even though they're being unethical. Now, what's important to remember is when there actually is legitimate scarcity in a situation, to tell that person. If, for instance, this person is really interested in this product or whatever, and there really is only a few of them left, it would be negligent on your part to not tell them that there's only a few left, or to tell them that there's a deadline. You know, if someone's trying to register for maybe college courses and you don't tell them that, hey, you only have until next week to do it, it's not going to go high on their priority list. Now, of course, if you implant scarcity in there artificially, then you're doing something that's unethical and immoral. But so let's be aware of where people might be using this concept of scarcity against us and be a sleuth of influence. I hope you've enjoyed all these principles of influence this week. Again, they've... Um, come from the book Influenced by Dr. Robert Cialdini. And what he did was he infiltrated different influence practitioners like sales organizations or social groups or religious groups or um, political groups and found what he determined to be six principles of influence.